what is up bros and welcome back now we've been on a tear this season and i wasn't planning on doing another discord tricks video for a couple of weeks but there's been some new discoveries that are actually mind-blowing so we're gonna be getting right back into it just two days after the last one so i hope you enjoy it and learn something new for you and your friends to get some nasty kills with if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a thumbs up. And if we can get this video to 30,000 likes, I'll go shotgun a Red Bull while doing a backflip. All right, yeah, I think that's it. So let's get into the video. All right, so if you've been anywhere near my social media in the last day, then you've probably seen this amazing new spot that Tran showed me using the new ledge trick. With the new season, there was an interesting change that allows you to prone on small surfaces, and you can do this to get all kinds of amazing parkour or sneaky spots. I'm going to be showing off a bunch in this video, and if at any point you want to jump around to one of them that sounds interesting to you, I will make sure to have timestamps down below. Now, you won't be able to go through the bulletproof glass on the horizontal window once you get down here, and while you might think it is suicide, you'll actually have a couple of options. If you're Zofia, you can fall off and then res yourself, which probably doesn't sound that appealing. So what you can do is actually focus your body over one of the spikes that sticks out below you, and you can do the same sideways prone to fall off and land on it. Once you do land on it, you can then drop down all the way to the ground and keep your full health amount that you had after the initial drop down. I know within like a couple hours of me posting this on Twitter, Godly Noob was able to go into a game and get a bunch of kills. So if you post that video, make sure you guys go and check it out. Up next, we're jumping over to Chalet where the legend Nico showed me how you can do another prone parkour to get into the Chalet trophy room window. This one would be especially funny because you could troll the defenders by banning Amaru and then making them not even ever think about this window. Then when you jump in the window and gun four people down in sight, they're going to call you a hacker and you can enjoy the dub. Up next is a series of options on border all using the prone ledge trick. The first one is simply crawling around the corner and then using it for a super crazy sideways angle onto the south balcony that a lot of attackers can't see and run past to make their initial push. Most people are going to pre-fire one of the two windows and get somewhere near them so you'll have lots of opportunities to surprise them. Also if you're wearing certain skins you can add on to the rattiness of this spot but I wouldn't stay here for too long just in case somebody goes up onto the skylight. We have been eliminated. Now what might be the best vigil spot in all of Siege is up next where you can go even further in the same spot and then drop down onto the fan. From there you can stand up and have a free look around. Now if you don't know what the elevation vigil trick is, the quick 5 second explanation is that the distance that drones can detect a vigil is much smaller when measured vertically versus horizontally. So if you get high enough, drones won't get that distorted notification and think that certain areas are clear. Now there's a bunch of good visual spots around Siege like this, but the downside to most of these spots is that if a drone jumps, they can actually get the distorted effect revealing that a vigil is cloaked nearby. Because this particular spot is so high up, even if drones jump right below you, they won't know that you're there because you're so high up, there's not going to get the notification. The next option here is by placing an evil eye that can get some of the craziest shots onto unexpected areas that I've ever seen on border. Of course this can be destroyed with a projectile, but this is a spot that could easily go without being noticed because it is so unexpected. A lot of people probably aren't even going to look here. Up next is the easiest way to get onto the purple tarps rooftop, maybe ever. Too bad the tarps are still not solid objects anymore, and so you will just run straight through them. Just because you can't go on the tarps though, being on this rooftop still has some pretty good angles. They're not quite as nasty as the OG purple tarps, but they're still not bad. Alright, now let's move on before I cry. Jumping over to one of my favorite maps in Cafe is the crazy corner prone ledge spot that gives you a nasty angle onto the default plant and bar. This angle is much more sideways versus the regular rappel here because when you rappel here your body is in between the end pillar and the window leaving you pretty exposed. 
I'm sorry for the certain frame drops in this. I did end up having a corrupt video file while I was recording, so I'll just make this one quick, but it's pretty cool to see. I would definitely try this one in a custom game first though, because if you do fall, you will break your ankles and die. All right, so taking a break from all of the prone parkour, we have this very simple C4 that you can throw to take out anyone that's near the snowmobile garage. You will get detected for a second or two, but you'll get away with it because it's pretty rare that someone is gonna be here within this time frame to counter you, and you're not gonna be vulnerable for that long. Of course, having a Valkyrie camera or something outside to give you that intel is all just a plus. Up next is the clever way that you can trick shot any throwable object. This first one here that we're going to be taking a look at is with Thatcher's EMPs where you can break one layer of flooring and take out objects that are on the above floor. This is amazing because you can't cook EMP grenades like you can regular grenades, so if the type of floor is breakable and has two layers, you will be able to take out any electronic devices above and confuse the crap out of defenders while they watch their precious gadgets break. The second option that you have here is by doing it with grenades in the same fashion. Now yes, you can cook grenades and then toss it up if you know exactly where somebody is, but this takes a lot of timing and some practice to really perfect. If you just break the ceiling and then throw the nade into the crack, you won't ever need to worry about cooking your nade for too long and killing yourself or a teammate. Now this one here is one of the craziest ones and it's taking that same concept but with smoke grenades. This is a game changer for certain entry points into certain sites when it's not on the bottom floor and this is just one of many examples where this could be a site game changer. This next one was sent in Discord, but I could have sworn it looked familiar, so I went and checked and found out that Grief Drums did it first, so super cool find to you. I have heard this may get changed soon, but as of right now it works and it's honestly a really cool mechanic. The arms of Ace's breach charges actually stretch out long enough to reach out and do some splash damage to bandit batteries underneath of walls. It's a really cool way to deal with this type of utility if Thatcher is banned, and bringing a Kali isn't really always the best option. Honestly, even though Ace's charges are really slow, he's just so versatile and he's a ton of fun to play right now. This is just another example that shows how versatile he is. You can also do the Habana reverse plant trick that we covered in the last video, how you can actually do a standard reverse plant, but just strategically break out certain pieces of reinforced walls so that it looks like it's on the other side. It stays hidden really, really well. This isn't a glitch because the diffuser is still in the same range as if you were to do a standard reverse plant. If the diffuser goes out of bounds, then it forces defenders to win, such as if you plant on top of a hatch and the hatch is destroyed. Anyways, bra fam, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned a ton of new stuff to get some nasty kills and more wins with. Happy early Father's Day to all of the dads out there that might be watching this. And until next time, I love you all. Peace.